the real reason why TGCF season two has been delayed so long was because of how long it took to animate that dice roll. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Kector. So much exciting TGCF stuff has just come out right in time for Hua Chung's birthday. The official TGCF account just posted that video, teasing a little bit of the gambler's den that we're going to get in season two. Now, if you've read the books or you've read further in the manhua, you know this is a very intimate scene between Hua Lian. They touch hands, Hua Chung teaches him about luck. I'm very excited to see them touch hands. I think I will actually ascend if I see them touch hands like that in the Donghua. It's gonna be <laughs> way too much. I'm just so excited that we are getting sneak peeks. There is progress. Unlike Scum Villain, unlike the Arha live action where there has been no new updates, we are getting updates from the Donghua team. There have been some more updates that I'll go into later. But first, some other exciting news is that the third volume of the physical Manhua is now up for pre-sale. It should be getting shipped out pretty quickly. If you would like to pick this up, you can click the link down below. I've got a discount code for films where you can get 6% off your order. I love the physical editions of these manhuas. Even though I can't read Chinese, they come with stickers and extras and they're just so beautiful. Like they look so good displayed. I would 1000% recommend buying them if you love Star Ember's art. And right now, 42 Shops has a sale where you can get the first, second, and third edition all together. And maybe one day you can even learn Chinese and read them. <laughs> Speaking of Star Ember's art, she has returned as the manhua updated today. We got this gorgeous new poster image of Hua Chung because unfortunately he's not in the new chapter. But he's gorgeous, he's reaching for Shillian, there's a flower. I just love this like absolute wallpaper poster of a design. And they didn't have to give us this. Like they came back with a bang. It's Hua Chung's birthday, here's this beautiful art, and here's the return of the Manhua. I'm excited to do a full video on the chapter, but essentially what happens is Lan Chen Cho is freaking out because he recognized Shillian as his Guoshi, and Daddy John Wu is like, what the fuck's going on? and Ming Shang is on the floor. <laughs> Also for Children's Day, the Donghua team uploaded this incredible photo where we get Hong Honger and the Prince Xilian visiting him. We don't get a lot of art of Hong Honger and this style is so cute. I just love this scene and how like he's being his inspiration and his savior. And this is Hua Chung. Like this is the most powerful Lord Hua Chung as a baby. And we get to see that. And I just love that they gave us this in an official regard, even though we don't have season two yet. Like they didn't have to do this. So much new merch and stuff has come out that they didn't need to give us like a free piece of beautiful art, but they did. And that's what just makes me love the TGCF creators so much. In this art, you can also see there's little Daruma dolls of the different characters. Once again, I will take any beef leaf content that I can possibly get my hands on. So at least they're here too. And for the Lantern Festival, the Donghua team also posted this art where Hua Lian can be seen with Wang Xin. <laughs> Chilian's coat here looks very, very warm and Hua Chung's shoulder is like epic. Like I bet Pei Ming is super jealous of his armor. We don't often see Hua Chung in armor, so this is extra epic. So back to the Donghua. A couple days ago, the Donghua team announced that Zhang Guantao, who was Xilian's original Chinese voice actor, has been replaced with Deng Yoshi. Zhang Guantao was involved in a court case last year. It wasn't anything dramatic like murder. <laughs> I believe it had to do with something with money. I'm a little bit unsure if he was the one being sued or suing someone else, but it seems like it may have interfered with his work. And in the official statement, they have just said that due to personal reasons, he will no longer be on this project. That being said, the new voice actor has been getting praised because his voice does sound very similar. <laughs> He also voices Mika in Genshin, so some people are already familiar with him. <laughs> And he has played a prostitute before, so a lot of people enjoyed he was able to do a sultry voice. <laughs> Even though I don't think Shilian ever really speaks sultry. In our in our imaginations to Hua Chung, uh, he can, but that like low intimate tone definitely came through. But yes, lots of new merch. It's absolutely overwhelming. Has come out recently, like the Chinese revised edition books, the new Hua Chung figure. This is on pre-order for next year. It is like $300 US. It's so expensive, but I have the Shilian edition. So of course I'm going to have to get the Hua Chung one. I just think that they nailed the character design. They really made them like sexy. They're not like chibi or cute. They look hot, I'm into it. And if you want your prayers to come true, you do have to pray to Shilian and Hua Chung together. So 
<sighs> it really is a package deal. I will have links to buy everything in my description and the comments down below. And if I do have a discount code, I'll be sure to put that as well. Also, if you'd like to continue talking about MXTX stuff and you like to play games, you can join my YouTube membership where we play MXTX games together like Pictionary and fanfic collaborative games. They're absolutely crazy. And if you'd like to learn more, you can click join down below. Also be sure to check out my merch store and use code YTShopping25 for 25% off. I'll also have a link to Stitch's store where she is selling cosplay prints and jewelry that you're not gonna wanna miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching and leave a comment down below what you think Hua Chung is doing on his birthday today. Happy birthday, Hua Chung, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.